Hello guys, welcome to Big Engineers. I'm Shovik and I hope you're all doing great. In today's video, I'll show you how I made my own Arduino Uno board using the Atmic 328 PIC. But before starting today's video, let me thank the whole Arduino community for the immense support this provided does throughout the years. And without Arduino, without this help, this channel might not even start it at all. Also, being an open source prototyping platform, we all get the facilities that makes the Arduino what it is now. So in today's video, we will be looking into the schematic, modify it a little to our needs and finally we will be coming out with the PCB to fabricate the components in all. For the prototyping for this project, I have used JLC PCB's PCB Manufacturing Services who is also the sponsor for this video, so big thumbs up to JLC PCB. Their ridiculously low prices and quick build time of only 24 hours is what makes them so special. 10 PCBs just for $2, it's not something you wanna get elsewhere. So stay tuned with me to the end of the video to know more about JLCPCB and their ordering process. And that's it. So without further ado, let's start this video from here. Most of the Arduinos in the market uses the same microcontroller on board that is the Atmel 28 PIC made by Atmel. But there are some exceptions like Arduino Mega or Duo etc. Those generally have larger number of I.O. pins or uh, more memory to program. But excluding that, everything is at my T28P and we will be making the whole circuit around that. You can download the whole Arduino Uno circuit diagram directly from the Arduino website. Follow the given link in the description box below. You will go to the page. I will be using all the true hole components in the project, not in SMD components. That makes this board more easy to develop for everyone because not everyone have soldering station or hot air gun those kind of thing i also don't have that so i'll be using tool components only also sometimes tool components are a little cheaper to get and easier to find for the same reason i haven't included any ftda chip on board for programming so you can't directly connect the usb port of your computer to arduino you will be using a separate usb tool converter to program the arduino now let's look at the components you need to make this project Gather all the components with proper quantity as instructed. The complete BOM is there in the description box also. Take a look if you want. You can download the PDF also there. With this, you also need a USA detail converter that I was talking earlier. That is also known as FTDI breakout board. You can also use a USB SP converter that has this SPI interface to program the Arduino. So this is the circuit that I have downloaded and I will follow this circuit to design mine but I will not copy it but there are some changes that I want to make here first is the FTDI chip thing that I was talking earlier there will be no FTDI chip on the board so this whole part from the main circuit will be absent in my version second is that the 3.3 volt supply line on the board you can see the Arduino uses the LP2985 IC from Texas Instrument to get the 3.3 volt on the board but due to unavailability of the IC in true hole format we will be also not using that IC but I will be using a linear regulator in that case LM3117 should be obvious to us here but to cut the making cost even lower I will be using LM317 with some voltage divided to get a 3.3 volt supply online the next thing is that the Arduino uses a MOSFET compared to determine so either we are powering the circuit through USB power supply or a DC input but in this version we will be selecting the input source manually using a jumper cable you can see that later in the final prototype and the last thing I will make sure that there are, there are two rows of every IO ports available on the board around the Arduino in the original Arduino or the regular one you can see only one row of female headers around it but I will keep one female headers and one male headers for each pin so that will help me to connect more jumper wires or more devices in one pin of the Arduino. Now after altering all those changes, it's time to draw the final schematic. For this I use EasyDA. EasyDA is a great tool for drawing these kind of big circuits. It's make life a lot easier afterwards. I'm using this portal for a long time and will recommend to everyone without any hesitation. The circuit diagram is given in the description box as a PDF doc. You can download it if you want and you can use it yourself. Once the design is done, save it and convert the schematic to a PCB. Be patient with the PCB designing because a mistake here can ruin your whole PCB package. 
Check multiple time before generating the garbage file. Don't use 90 degree turns to connect two pads. Also use copper area as ground. It always a good practice to use that. Also there is a tool named 3D model that you can use to check how the PC will look when it will come out of the factory as a full product. Now if you are sure with whole thing then click on make garbage file and from there we can directly order the board by GLC PCB. Upload the garbage files there, select proper specifications. Basically you don't need to change anything in this section, keep it as it is. These are good enough settings to start with. Or you can change the color if you want but that will make increase the cost. Uh, here you can see the total price showing as $2 for 10 PCBs for the green PCBs that I am going for. This is what I am talking about earlier that $2 for 10 PCBs is, is very cheap you know. It's unbelievably cheap and the build time is only 24 hours that is very impressive hands down. So check out and place your order in this portal. Now you can get those PCBs delivered to your door in less than 5 days I guess because I live in India and I got those packages via DHL in only 3 days. Keep in mind that also you can track the production as well as the shipping right from your account page. After 3 days this is how I received the package as I said earlier. Uh, the packaging is top notch no doubt I observed no signs of shipping damage whatsoever so that is good. Now inside the packet there is a box with JCVC printed on top and these are the PCB that I got. Upon close inspection it can be said that the quality of the PCBs are very good. The solder tunnel, masking, seal screen, everything is very clean and good looking as I expected it to be. Now when you are happy with the quality of the board, gather all the components and start the soldering process here. Once the soldering is done, it will look something like this. One thing you will find odd a little that there are two reset buttons on the Arduino board. Actually what happened that when I was designing the PCB, I designed it to use with a 4 pin push button like this. But at the time of soldering, I just realized that I don't have that. So what I did, I used two reset pins that have two pins in both sides and soldered them on place just because it will look odd if two pins are empty on the board. So don't worry about that. Now just insert the IC and you are almost ready to go. I am saying almost because if you are using a USB to detail converter to program the IC, you will need to have the bootloader bound on the Atma T28P IC before that. Follow the steps that I will be telling you later on to burn the bootloader. The FTD breakout boards can be of many types. There can be variations of pins but 4 pins will be same on every FTDI board that is 5V, ground, RX and TX. You can also find a DTR pin in some cases. If you have the DTR pin, what you have to do, do that you have to connect the DTR pin to the reset port of the Arduino board that is here. You have to connect that to make that thing work. Other connections are pretty much self-explanatory. That is 5V will go to Arduino VCC, ground to ground, RX to TX of the Arduino and TX to RX of the Arduino. So that's it. Connect the breakout board to the Arduino and connect the whole thing to the computer now. Open device manager and observe the COM port of your USB tutorial converter. Open Arduino IDE, select the COM port and the uploading board that is Arduino Uno in this case. Now here comes a tricky part. If you have a FTDI board that has a DTR pin and that is connected to the reset terminal, then everything you have to do that is normal. But if you have a FTDI breakout board that don't have a DTR pin, then what do you have to do that? First of all, press the reset button on the board, then click on upload in the Arduino IDE. Wait till the Arduino IDE says compiling and when it says uploading, then just release the reset switch on the board. Then the program will be uploaded completely and there will be no error. Here you can see I am modifying the example sketch that is blink sketch a little bit to make the LED blink at every 100 milliseconds and, and I am uploading the code using the technique just I told you by pressing the reset button and after uploading you can see that the code is uploaded and it is working as it is instructed to do that is blinking the pin 13 LED in every 100 milliseconds. You can also use a AUSB ASP converter to upload the code to the Arduino. To know more about it and to know how it can be done. 
you can refer to this video that I have made a year ago. In this method, burning bootloader on the IC is not mandatory, so you can skip that process. But the next part is a little complicated, but you can get hold of it if you can watch this video once. So this is the final product that is in front of us. You can also see the power supply of 5 volt and 3.3 volt is working good. Also, you can see I have uploaded the sketch of Charlie Flexing and it is working fine. Also, you can control six LEDs by three pins of the Arduino. By the way, if you don't know how it works, then yeah, watch those video. That said, the project is almost complete here. Uh, I hope you have learned something new and you have liked this project. If you have, then please do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, it's free. It's it's keep us motivated to come up with such videos for you again and again. Uh, thank you again for watching this video. See you in your next video. Till then bye and take care.